Nightcrawler, the German demon-like former circus acrobat, is a popular member of the X-Men with the mutant power of teleportation and a prehensile tail, perfect for swashbuckling. He's an easily recognizable character and one of Marvel's more popular mutants, but before joining the X-Men, this furry blue elf was almost a DC character. It's X-Men week here at NerdSync, and we'll be taking a look at the real origins of some of your favorite mutants like Storm, Wolverine, and in this video, Nightcrawler. They each joined the X-Men in the same issue at the same time when the X-Men needed to be revitalized. You see, X-Men wasn't Marvel's bestseller back in the day. It did okay, but it was nowhere near as popular as Spider-Man or Fantastic Four. With issue 66, Marvel had canceled the book. A few months later, Marvel started printing new issues, but the stories inside were just reprints of older issues. This was the state of the X-Men from about 1970 to 1975 until Marvel's then editor-in-chief Roy Thomas wanted to bring the X-Men back with a twist. In 1975, giant-sized X-Men number one was released to the world, featuring a new team of mutants from countries all around the globe like Germany, Kenya, Russia, Japan, and Canada, to name a few. Nightcrawler, of course, was the one from Germany, and to understand how he was almost a DC character, we have to take a look at one of his co-creators, David Cockrum. Cockrum was working at DC Comics as an artist for their book, Legion of Superheroes, about a young team of superheroes that took place in the future. There was a cartoon about it once, it was... I don't know, probably fine. I didn't really watch it. Either way, during his run on Legion, Cockrum pitched a spin-off book called The Outsiders, which would center around a team consisting of heroes who were rejected from the Legion and formed their own separate squad. Like that one episode of the cartoon where they had the Legion of Substitute Heroes, whose powers were deemed too useless to actually help in the battle, but they teamed up and saved the day together. Anyway, I promise I didn't actually watch this show. The team he proposed for The Outsiders were two characters who had somewhat been established before, named Reflecto and Power Boy, teamed up with some new characters like the winged bird lady Quetzal, the weather-controlling Typhoon, a character named Trio, and finishing up the roster is none other than Nightcrawler himself, looking pretty much identical to his Marvel counterpart that would debut later. Looks aside, the backstory of this character was going to be pretty different. Cockrum explains in the excellent comics creators on X-Men that he came up with the idea of Nightcrawler when he was visiting Gwen with his first wife. They were caught in the middle of a terrible storm, no, like, like an actual storm. We're discussing her tomorrow. Anyway, they decided to keep distracted from the storm by making up superheroes, as I'm sure all couples do. I assume. Cockrum thought up a character called The Intruder, who he explained was, quote, kind of like a cross between Punisher and Batman, end quote, which does sound pretty cool. <coughs> Moon Knight. <coughs> Excuse me. The intruder was also going to have a demon sidekick. This sidekick story was that he was sent on a mission from hell, but kinda screwed it up. So instead of going back to hell and facing the consequences of his failings, the demon decided to stay on Earth, hanging out with the intruder. This demon's name was, you guessed it, Nightcrawler. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, Jack Kirby's The Demon was released at DC around this time, so as to not seem like a copycat, Cockrum dropped Nightcrawler's demon angle, probably in favor of making him some kind of alien when he proposed the character to be a Legion heir. But the editor of the book, Murray Boltonov, rejected the idea of Nightcrawler, saying, according to Cockrum, that the character was too funny looking and would offend the readers. Cockrum would later use Nightcrawler again in his pitch for the Outsiders, but DC never took him up on that idea. They did eventually make an Outsiders team, but that was like a decade down the line. Completely different, let's not really dwell on it. Not long after though, Cockrum had a big fight with Boltonov and left to go work at Marvel, where he would soon land a gig working on giant-sized X-Men. Roy Thomas tasked Cockrum with creating new mutants for the team. Thomas had a general idea of what he was looking for, but Cockrum pretty much said, I got this, as he and Len Wein started putting together a new team of mutants including Colossus, Banshee, Wolverine, Storm, Thunderbird, Sunfire, and Nightcrawler. Since the idea for the team was to have characters from different corners of the world, Nightcrawler gained a German heritage and alter ego, Kurt Wagner. With his debut appearance, the fuzzy elf's personality was slightly different than how we might know him today. He was more serious, more animalistic. He howled whenever he would defeat an enemy, for example. Pretty quickly, though, they changed the character to be a little bit more fun and easygoing. Interestingly, as they were pitching ideas for new X-Men, Cockrum came up with a bat-like character named Vampire with a Y. But some of the others involved with getting this new X-Team off the ground thought that Vampire and Nightcrawler looked too similar, so they had to choose only one. Cockrum preferred Nightcrawler, and that's who we got. 
And that's pretty much how Nightcrawler was created. But I'm curious what you think. Would you have liked to see Nightcrawler's initial origin as a demon sidekick? Or perhaps a member of the Legion of Superheroes? Or are you just glad the blue dude has found a place on the X-Men? Let's talk about it all in the comments. We're doing a whole week of X-Men videos here at NerdSync, so hit that big sexy subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. We'll have links in the description below to the other videos as they are released, or if you're watching this video in the mysterious future, you can click right here to learn the real origin behind Storm and how she was an amalgamation of five distinct comic book characters. Or you can click right here to learn about how Wolverine, this is true, was almost a real, literal Wolverine. My name is Scott, reminding you to read between the panels and grow smarter through comics. See ya.